hi guys you're welcome back to my channel okay so today we are going to be drafting um cutting and sewing this ball dress okay for a five-year-old baby girl all right so we'll jump right into the drafting process um kindly subscribe to my channel now if you have not okay leave your comments okay all right guys so let's proceed okay so we'll start um, to get the space that we'll work with, the widest part of her body is her chest, and that's 24. So we'll do 24 over 2, that's 12, and then we'll add 3 inches, and that will give us 15. We'll divide that by 2, and that will give us 7.5, because we're going to be drafting the front and the back. Okay, so we'll proceed. Her shoulder is 10, then 10 over 2 is 5. We're going to add 0 0.5 joining allowance. Her neck width for the back is 2.5 by 1.5 depth. Then for the front, we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder of 5. We'll also add our 0 0.5 joint allowance. Neck width for the front is 2.5 by 2.5. By 2 and we'll connect these points together. Okay, so we'll slope the back with 0 0.5 inch and the front with 1 inch. And this is a standard. Now we'll connect it to the neck width. Okay. Now to get her chest line, we'll do her chest round over 4 minus 1. This is a standard. And uh, we'll do that, we'll get 5 inches, okay? Now because the line um, needs to run to the back, so we'll simply extend our tape back to the starting point of the front, okay? And that will give us 6. Now we'll go ahead and measure our 6 inches across and we'll connect that with a straight line. Now we'll go ahead and label that as our chest line. Now on the chest line, We'll also repeat her shoulder measurement plus half inch for joining. We'll mark the same on the front. Remember her shoulder is 10. 10 over 2 is 5 plus 0 0.5. Now we'll connect that to the shoulder slope. Okay. Now on that um, our chest line, we'll mark her chest round. Chest round is 24. 24 over 4. That's 5. That's um, 6. And we're adding 1.5 sewing allowance. Okay. And that will give us 7.5. We will repeat the same on the front as well. Okay, now we'll proceed. From her shoulder to her half length is 10.5. We'll add 0 0.5 um, allowance to that, okay? Now we'll mark it across um, from the back to the front and we'll connect it um, with a straight line, okay? Now we'll go ahead and label that as our front length or your half length and um, the allowance. Okay, then we'll proceed to mark her waist. Okay, so we'll connect the points together with a straight line. We'll also repeat the same on the front. We'll mark her waist round divided by 4 plus 1.5 allowance. We'll also mark her chest round divided by 4 plus 1.5 allowance and we'll connect with a straight line. Now, on the armhole line, we'll take the middle of that and we'll go in by 0 0.25 because this is a sleeveless dress, okay? Now, we'll connect that with a straight line. Okay, now we'll I'll repeat the same on the front as well. We'll take the middle and at that point we'll go in by 0 0.5 for the front and we'll connect with a straight line to the shoulder tip. Okay, now on my chest line, I like to go up by 0 0.5. Okay, now this is to ensure that the armhole is not that, uh, it's not too deep. So I will mark my 0 0.5 on my back chest line. Okay, and um, I'll also mark it on my front chest line as well then i'll connect it with a straight line okay then um i'll go ahead and uh, okay so i'll go ahead and place my armhole curve to rest on that 0 0.5 i just came up with i'll repeat the same on the front armhole as well okay and um, that's it we're done with our drafting okay so we'll proceed to mark our yoke now, from the neck depth of the front, um, the extent of the yoke I want is 1.6 inches, okay? Now, I'll place my tape from the starting point to that neck, um, to the yoke part, and that's 4 inches. So, I'll go ahead and mark that across because the yoke will also extend to the back and um, will label as well. Okay. Now, we'll proceed to mark our yoke, okay? So, from the neck depth of, um, I came down by 3.75, okay? Now, um, I want the yoke... I want the back to have a little bit of curve. So I came in from the center back by 0 0.25 and I just connected with a curve to the neck depth. Okay. Now I also slanted my yoke. I don't want it straight. 
Now that's it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and add, uh, mark out my one inch zip allowance. Remember this pattern has all the allowances included. Okay, and that's it for the back. Now we'll go ahead and add our 0 0.5 joint allowance on the shoulder. And we'll also blend the lines. I Okay, so we'll do the same on the front as well. We'll add our 0 0.5 to the shoulder and um, we'll connect that as well. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is to add my 0 0.5 okay um allowance on the neckline because i want to maintain i want to maintain that neck depth okay now for the back i went ahead to alter my back um, um neck depth okay so i increased it to two inches then i reconnected it back okay then my my curve as well at the center back i um changed that okay so the space from the center back to where the curve started is still 0 0.25 okay then I went ahead to add my um, 0 0.5 allowance on the neckline. Now we'll go ahead and cut out this pattern. All right, guys, please subscribe to my channel, okay? Um, this encourages me a lot, okay? It shows me that um, I'm making an impact. All right, so let's proceed to cut, cut, cut. Okay, so I'll go ahead and label my patterns. Then we'll transfer to fabric and cut out. Okay, so I've cut out, okay, on uh, fabric, okay, now um, I added 0 0.5 to the yoke, remember? Okay, so this is the lace fabric that we'll be working with, okay? I also went ahead to cut out my underlining, okay, which is our bridal satin. I traced out my pattern and I cut that out, same thing with the back piece, okay? So I'll go ahead and use my fabric glue to attach the lace to the satin and I'll show us. All right, so this is it. I have um, glued the lace on the bridal satin, okay? Um, here is it. So I use the fabric glue to glue it down to the, to the underlining, okay? Which is our bridal satin. So this is the front piece and these are the two back pieces, okay? Now, um, this is the yoke, okay? So I separated them. You now we got two pieces of the yoke, okay? So we're going to first join it on the shoulder, okay? So I have pinned this one. Now, this is the second piece. We'll go ahead and pin. Now, um, I'll go ahead and join this using a 0 0.5 sewing allowance on the shoulder here and here. I'll do the same for on this one as well join it on the shoulders okay then i'll press it open open then i'll show us what next okay so i'm done joining them on the shoulders i also went ahead to give it a um, a gentle press now i'll go ahead and place them right size facing each other okay and i'll pin it down okay so it's good to pin well so that it doesn't shift remember that this is a tool net Okay, so I'm done pinning. Now I'll go ahead and use 0 0.5 allowance that we added to stitch around the neckline and um, around that curve that we have at the back. And I'll also stitch the armhole line, okay? All right, so I'm done stitching and I've turned. Now I turn them from the front, okay? Now I'll go ahead um, and mark my one inch zip allowance on the back piece, okay? I'll repeat the same on the lining as well. Take this to my sewing machine and use a loose stitch to stitch that down. Now the essence is so that I will see the crease line when it's time for me to fix my zip. Now I'll get my front yoke, okay, and place, but we'll go in by 0 0.5 from the armhole, okay? Now um, I'll use my pins and pin down my yoke. So we have a space of 0 0.5, okay, on the armholes. Now I'll also get my lining and pin it on top so we have the yoke in the middle of the main fabric and the lining both right sides are facing each other inside okay now i'll take that to the sewing machine and i'll stitch from one armhole to the other using 0 0.5 and i'll show us okay so i'm done attaching the yoke to the front piece okay so as you can see the the armhole area for the front is completely closed since it's a sleeveless dress okay now I give it a good press. So we'll go ahead and attach the back pieces. Okay. 
now to attach that um it's still the same process we'll go ahead and mark okay so we'll go ahead and mark a 0 0.5 inch away from the armhole line okay now we'll place our yoke in between the main fabric and the lining right sides facing each other and we'll pin down okay now we'll go ahead and stitch from our armhole okay to the chest line using our 0 0.5 but we'll go away from the zip line by one inch now we'll complete that when it's time for us to um when we're done fixing our zip okay so we stitch like so from the armhole to the chest line and then we'll stop one inch before the zip line now i'll repeat the same on the other piece okay i'll take this to my sewing machine and stitch this down and then i'll come back and show us okay so i'm done fixing my back pieces okay now this is the the inside okay and this is the right side of the fabric remember our zip area is still open now we'll go ahead and mark our sewing allowance remember when we are cutting we added 1.5 inches sewing allowance now we'll mark that okay on the sides and um i'll proceed to pin that together okay now i'll take this to my sewing machine and i'll stitch on these marked lines I'll repeat the same on the other side now after I'm done stitching I'll give it a good press I'll press open the seam lines okay then I'll come back and show us okay so I'm done um, stitching the seam on um, the side seams okay now I gave it a good press and you can see how it's relaxed okay now that's it for the upper part um, we're done now we'll proceed um, to cut the lower part okay come back all right, so let's go ahead and cut the lower part, okay? So this is a bridal satin, doll face, and this is two and a half yards, okay? Now, the um, her dress full length, okay? So this is for a five-year-old. Now, her full length is 36, okay, it's to the floor. Now, we'll do, um, we're going to subtract her half length, which is 10.5, and we're left with 25.5, okay? But... For this satin, we're adding half inch, so we're cutting out 26 inches, okay? Now, the first thing to do is to go ahead and fold it. This is the way it is. So, we'll fold it into two. Okay. So, it's folded into two now. Now, um, I like to pin. I've pinned. I'm done pinning it. Now, the fabric is shifting a bit, so we need to use something to hold it in place, okay? Now, we'll go ahead and measure out our 26 inches okay but we're not going to be making use of this rough edge okay okay so all our markings are going to start from these marked lines so i'll go ahead and measure out my 26 inches okay then i'll connect it Okay, so I'll go ahead and cut this out. I'll also measure out another 26 inches and cut it out. Okay, so I've marked the second part. Now I'll go ahead and cut this out, okay? Then I'll show us. Okay, so um, we're done cutting out. Okay, so I'll go ahead and join these two sides, okay? So we're going to join this way right sides facing each other like so okay so i'll go ahead and join it okay using um 0 0.5 okay so now when i'm done joining i will gather i'll use my needle and thread okay then pass it here okay and gather it i'm going to gather it the lengthwise because it's going to be a very long length okay so i'll gather it to her waist remember her waist is 23 okay so i'll gather it down to her waist that is after i've joined using 0 0.5 here i'll gather it lengthwise down to her waist okay and um that will be it for this now let's move on to the tool net so this is the tool net that i'll be working with okay now this is um, um nine and a half yards okay so i'll go ahead and divide this into um, three three yards okay so we can only get three pieces out of this 
okay so i'll divide it into three um i'll measure out use my tape measure out three yards and cut out measure out another three yards and cut out and like that until i exhaust this okay then i'll show us okay so i'm done cutting them out okay now each of them is measuring three inches okay so we have three pieces now one two and three okay now we'll go ahead and pick up one okay so this is one now this is it this is the entire length okay so you first fold it into two like i'm doing okay so now this is into two okay so i'll go ahead and fold it again into two okay so this is it now i'll go ahead and fold it again just to the size that you're comfortable working with okay so i folded i folded it now this is how we're going to fold the remaining two okay so i'll um i'm done folding now we'll place it on the table and um, now we'll place it on the table and measure out our length okay okay so this is it um well folded okay now you can pin i like to pin okay so here we have it now um, we'll go ahead and cut the length of these two nets so we'll go ahead and cut now the length of these two nets is 27 inches okay so we'll place and um measure our 27 i think we can only get two two of the lengths out of this okay you see the essence of the pinning now we'll go ahead and measure another 27 27 times 2 that should give us 54 okay so that's almost exact almost exact okay so i will we'll go ahead and cut okay okay now this is it i'll use it and cut this second one okay so here we have it for this one now i'll go ahead and repeat the same on the other ones so it means out of um each one we'll have two okay so i'll go ahead and repeat the same on the other ones and show us okay so i'm done cutting them okay so this is it this is two from um this is two and this is another two and this is another two so in total we have six pieces two four six okay now the next thing we're going to do is to pick them okay now we'll place these two okay so let me keep these ones aside now we'll open this up it's a long piece okay so we'll go ahead and place it um place one on top of the other okay so place it on top of the other lengthwise okay like so and then we are going to go ahead and gather okay so i'm going to gather it with my needle and thread you can use your loose stitch with your sewing machine but i'm going to use my my needle and thread okay just thread a very long um thread okay and um, i'll gather this down to her waist her waist is 23 i'll do this i'll do it for the other two just pick up two gather it lengthwise to 20 to 20 to 25 okay because of the zip allowance of one inch on both sides so i'll gather this down to 25 her waist is 23 plus two inches so i'll gather this down to 25 i'll gather the other ones down to 25 as well okay and um I'll come back and show us.
Okay, so let's go ahead and cut. Let's go ahead and cut our lining. Okay, so that when we get to the sewing machine, it will be so 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 you know straight up, no more cutting. Okay, so we're going to be doing a little calculation now. Her waist round is twenty three. Okay, and then we're adding two inches for the zip allowance. That will be excess, but I want to pleat out. I want to pleat the rest. Okay. So her waist round is 23 and we're adding two inches from allowance okay to that um for the zip but definitely it's going to be more okay but i want to use the extras for pleats okay so what we have is 25 now um this is a 180 degrees flare okay now 25 over 3.142 now to get a 180 degrees flare you're dividing by 3.142 okay now if you divide this it will give you about 7.9 but i want to approximate that to eight so her radius is eight okay now for the length of the lining um the length of the lining is 20 the length of the lining is 23 okay so the lining length the lining length is 23 okay so to know the extent of of the fabric that we're going to fold you're simply going to add your radius to the length so 23 plus plus the 8 inches length so that will give us 31 okay so we're going to fold this fabric um lengthwise 31 okay this is the um a way for you to economize your fabric so you don't go folding everything and just to cut out um, a length of 31 okay that would be a complete waste so i'll do that now and um we'll proceed okay so remember our calculation our length including the radius is 31 okay so you first fold into two pick up your tape and you measure now to be on the safe side you can go ahead and add extra one inch you see it's not up to so you can go ahead and add extra one inch to that okay now the entire lining is by 60 okay it's not even up to 60 okay so the entire lining is 29 okay okay so to fold the lining now this is the length this is the length of the fabric okay the length is running this way okay now remember our calculation the radius of 8 plus the length of the lining of 23 that gave us 31 but to be on the safe side when you're folding we can go ahead and add extra one inch or two okay you know this fabric is a bit light so it can shift now i'll go ahead and measure okay so what i have there is 31.5 i want it to be 32 or 32.5 okay so let me go ahead and measure what i have um yes what i have there now is about 34 okay now you will go ahead this is the way it is now the way it is now okay so um remember it's folded into two the folded side is facing me is by my side okay now we're going to go ahead this is the open side we're going to go ahead and lift this open side to towards the folded side okay so like so we just go ahead and arrange it properly okay so you arrange well Remember, this is a short part, it's inside. At this stage, you will need to pin. Okay, so um, this is it. I'm done pinning, okay? So let's go ahead and measure out 
our radius of 8 inches. So you place your tape at the very tip and you mark. Okay, now from there, we'll measure out our length of 23 inches. Okay, now to know the exact, the total, um, you place your tape at that very tip, okay? Now to this point, what we have here is 31, okay? So you just go ahead and place your 31 like so. Now this is it. Um, I'll go ahead and cut this out. And go ahead and notch to indicate the middle. Okay, and that's it. And that's it. We're done. This is the lining. Okay. Now, um, I'll go ahead and gather those other parts that we had cut out, and I will see us. Okay, so I'm done gathering it. Okay, so this is this, the satin. I've gathered it down to her waist. Okay, plus the two inches for the zip allowance, one inch on both sides. So what we have here is 25. Okay, now this is the the net. Okay, the two I have it gathered as well. Okay, so this is the three of them. This is the first one. They are all two, okay? Now, this is the second one. This is the second one, okay? And this is the third one, okay? All gathered. Now, um, we'll go ahead. So, the two is going to be on top of the satin, okay? So, we'll go ahead. And, and stitch this down okay so we'll go ahead and stitch the two to the satin okay just by the waist now then we'll join it to this half length yes this is quite a bulky fabric okay so we'll attach them to this half length to the main fabric okay i'll separate it like so i'll go to my sewing machine and join it join all this to this okay just by the waist using our 0 0.5 sewing allowance okay i'll join it then i'll also go ahead to join our lining to the lining of this okay so i'll also go ahead and join our lining to the lining of this part okay then i'll show us how to fix the zip and the closing okay so i'm done pleating okay 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 so i'm done gathering um them okay so this is the inside i need to i'll overlock them when i'm done okay now the next thing we'll do I've not attached my lining okay now the next thing we'll do is to fix the zip okay now to fix the zip just fold it in two okay now this is the zip I'll be using okay so from the from her waist I will okay so from the waist I will come down here by Say by six inches okay now remember our zip allowance of one inch so i'm going to go ahead and stitch on my one inch all the way down here okay so i'll stitch on my one inch from these six inches here all the way down here okay then i'll go ahead and fix my zip okay then i'll fix my lining um the lower um lining okay to this half length lining here then i'll use the lining to turn the zip okay then um that will be it i'll go ahead and overlock the rough edges 
Then I'll show us the finished look. We're done. All right, guys, so I'm done. Um, I went ahead to cut out some of the uh, patches of the lace, okay, and I used my glue, uh, my fabric glue, to attach it to the tool, okay, and then I also attached some um, pearls as well. This is a lovely dress, and I'd like you to try it out, okay, and uh, give me your feedback. All right, guys, so please subscribe to my channel, you know, comment, and I'll see you.